Hi and welcome to 5 Minutes of Maths with me, Ryan Hall. And what I'll be doing today is I'm going to prove to you um, Pythagoras' theorem. Now at school um, you got told things that you needed to learn and then use, uh, use them things that you're taught uh, to find out answers to sort of things and uh, obviously Pythagoras' theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Right, now you get told that and then um, you got told to apply that equation to right angle triangles when that is a, that is b and that is c, obviously that is a right angle. That is true for all right angle triangles. Uh, and then at school that's okay because you just learn that and then you get on with it and you find the answer and you write it down and you get probably get two marks for a correct answer. But um, when you get older you start questioning things like this and you think, is it actually true? Um, why is it true? Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do is a simple proof using uh, geometry and for everyone else out there that's using shapes. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to draw the best I can. Not very good at drawing, but I'm going to draw two squares. Okay? These squares, they might not look identical because of a drawing, but they are identical. I'll put them equal to each other. So the area inside this one is the same as the area inside this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to label it, I'm going to split it up into different shapes and size, find their areas and then uh, work them out and it should work out to be this. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to label this with A's and B's. So we're going to start with an A and a B, the A being a shorter side than the B. We don't know what, what number this is or that is, we're just going to say that B is greater than A. I'm going to label it all the way around, so we'll have another B there and an A, a B there obviously with an A on the end, uh, an A here and a B there. Okay, I'm going to draw some other lines through it like that. And we've got two squares and two rectangles. Now, quite simple, uh, the area of this little square, the square with inside the square, is B times B, because they're the two lengths, sorry, B squared. And the area for this one is A times A, so that'll be A squared, that's how we denote A times A. And then these rectangles, it's just uh, the base times the height for the area of a rectangle, which is AB, and that one is AB. So, to find out the equation for the area of this square, we can write it as A squared plus the B squared plus the two uh, rectangles. So we write 2AB. So, we, like, like I say, we don't know what A is or we don't know what B is, but if you do have a value for A and B, you can work out the area of that square by using this equation. Now, we're going to go to the second triangle, um, uh, square, and we're going to split it up into squares and triangles using the same A's and B's around the outside. So, we're going to go like that, like that, like that, and like that, and we're going to label that A, B, A, B, A. B, A, and B. Now, we're going to draw some joining lines up like there. So, as you can see, we have four right angle triangles in the square and one extra square. Um, we don't know the length of this one yet, so the next letter in the alphabet is C. We haven't used C yet, so we're going to label them ones C, because that is an unknown side. Uh, and just to prove to you, that is a right angle triangle. Um, that's a right angle, obviously, and that's a right angle, that's a right angle, right angle, because um, it's a square, obviously, and we split the square up, and inside there, to prove you, so that's a square, that needs to be a right angle, because all the square has four equal sides um, around the outside, and four of the same angles, so we need to prove that that is a right angle, and we do that by going, uh, all of the angles of an inter uh, the internal angles of a right angle triangle add up to 180 degrees. That's true for all right, uh, all triangles, uh, and obviously 90 degrees is a right angle. Um, so this angle here and this angle here should add, add up to 90 as well, because 180 take away 90 is 90. So the sum of the little angle and the fat angle is 90. I don't know what uh, what they are, but the sum of them are 90. Um, so we can label them all the way around, so we've got fat angle, uh, sorry, thin angle, fat angle, thin angle, fat angle, thin angled, fat angle. That's a square as well. That's a right angle, and that's a right angle. Right then, um, the angle of a 
was it the degree, the degrees of a straight line is 180, the same as an internal angles of a um, of a triangle. So as you can see, we've got a fat angle and a, a thin angle there, and we know the sum of them is 90. So again, 180 take away 90 is 90, leaving that angle as 90. Just proving to you that's a square. So the area of this square inside is c squared. Now the area of I'll write that down there. There. Now the area of a triangle is a half the base times the height. So we're going to use this triangle here. So half uh, the base, which is B, uh, times the height is A. And we have four of them, don't we? One, two, three, four. So we can write four next to it. Now if we uh, multiply, that's a half there, I've not wrote that many well ever. Um, now, uh, if you multiply out them brackets, you get C squared again, plus you get two. Uh, a and B and BA are the same things, so you can write it as A, B. As you can see there, uh, we have now C squared and 2AB, um, which is equal, because it's the same inside as that, same area as that, uh, and they are equal to each other. And now, using the laws of algebra, as you can see, you've got 2AB on this side and you've got 2AB on this side, which means you can just cancel them two out of the equation, so it's leaving your A squared, your, your B squared, equal to your C squared. And that's Pythagoras in a nutshell, as simple as, as it comes. I'm sure Pythagoras, uh, Pythagoras himself didn't do it that way, um, but that is just uh, an easy way of showing that the uh, maths teachers at school are not lying to you, they're actually teaching you something that's true for all right angle triangles. Favourite song? Uh, Desperado by the Eagles. Probably my favourite song, it's quite an old one. Uh, got a recent favourite, that Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, I like that. It goes a bit like a Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? Favourite favorite song now is Deja Vu from J. Cole. Um, I like, I love his new album that, that's just come out, so. Well, I, I my all time fave was um, Living on a Prayer with uh, Bon Jovi. Yes! Get One it. of my favourites. I'm singing. Oh, can I? <laughs> <laughs> um, right. How does it go again? <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Thank you. That, that's all I can give. I've really got a favourite song. Probably I'm, I'm digging a bit of Drake at the minute. He's, he's pretty smooth, eh? James Bay, I'll let it go. Does it let go? Let it go. I don't know. No? Well, that's my favourite one. Though. Probably Ain't the Mind High Enough from Temptations. I don't know. Don't really have a favourite moment. Probably, oh, probably Drake. Is it Fake Love? My favourite song is either Elvis Presley in the ghetto or Lone Star, I'm already there. Mine's Westlife Home, but I'm not singing it. As the snow flies on the cold and grey Chicago morning, a poor little baby child is born in the ghetto. Ed Sheeran's the man. Um, I'm gonna pick up the pieces <laughs> and build a Lego house. <laughs> <laughs> if things go wrong, we can knock it down. <laughs> John Legend, anything to do with John Legend is uh, pretty good. Uh, no, I can't sing it. I don't really have a favourite song. I'm pretty just uh, all around whatever's in the charts, I sort of listen to. Yeah, love of all music, but I'd probably say Deja Vu by. Um, J. Colt moment and I'm not giving you a chorus. I don't know, I like a lot of songs. When we were on camp last year, I sang a, a Bastille song. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, I'd love Michael Jackson, and I know Bob's going to kill me because he loves Michael Jackson. I probably stole his song, but uh, it's... Uh, I'm going to make a change for once in my life. It's going to feel, feel good. Yes. <laughs> eh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh. That's how it goes. Um, well, we watch a lot of Disney stuff in our house, so, um, Beauty and the Bee, so, Taylor's old as time, true as it can be. Um, I, my favourite song is by an American composer, it's called, um, 4.33, uh, well, 4 minutes 33, um, those will know it, will know I'm, I can do a great, you know, impersonation of it, I've got, I'll do it now for you. Don't drive or lift every machinery when Reynolds talking. <laughs> <laughs>